Guru Nation, how is it going, guys? Look live from a monitoring visit. We've got Christopher, who's a CRA, Via being a CRC. Via, we're going to get into more. I don't even know more. That's all I know. He's, for one of our studies, he's got this special, important role of unblinded CRA. Yeah. And we're going to get into, do you like it? Do you not like it? I personally don't like studies where we have unblinded and blinded staff. I think it's, I understand the importance, but it gets confusing for people. Too many hands in the protocol, but right. it's a, you need to do it at times. And a lot of people don't even understand what's unblinded. So I guess let's start there. Like, do you like being an unblinded CRA? Are these easier studies than most? I, it's easier in terms of writing a report where uh, there's another CRA doing the binding portion. So majority of the work is just uh, IP, everything re regarding IP, accountability, receiving, making sure everybody's dosed properly. Um, and it, it's the difficult part is really just the differentiation and tasks between uh, who's unblinded and who's blinded. And so just making sure that uh, nobody gets blinded like uh, unintentionally, right? Yeah. So, yeah. You were just telling us the importance of maintaining that blind and um, keeping people like separate from the drug. And it, I understand it makes sense. We got the hang of it. We were a rescue site. We got the hang of it and we started recruiting more. We're almost screening every day now. Um, so tell us about yourself though. How does one even get to this role of unblinded CRE? I... Well, I mean, this is one of my first studies as an unblinded CRA. I've been with uh, Premier Research for a little over a year now. And prior to that, I was actually a coordinator for maybe five years now. Wow. And so... Did you like that? Uh, it has its ups and downs. What right? do you like better? CR actually, I should have had Daisy up here for this interview. But what do you like better, CRC or CRA? Well, uh... For me personally, I like the CRA, just like the hands-off. I like being remote, uh, being able to see, it, stay on a computer and just like uh, spreadsheets and things like that, managing processes. Yeah. Or coordinator is more like, you're like in the... In the you're in the in middle the, of it. You're in the middle of everything. Daisy was just in someone's vein earlier. Exactly. Yeah. So, uh, you work from home? Yes, I work Anaheim, from home. Anaheim, my old hood. Do you drove here, right? No, I you actually flew? flew. I got a connecting oh, flight. That's crazy. I, Next time, you got to drive. Oh, I hate driving. I, I've driven. I have family here in Phoenix. And so I've driven that road many times. And I do not like driving for over like an hour. Okay. If you so. see family, that's fine. Um, so what got you into being a coordinator then? Um, it's a very uh, just like serendipitous moment. Like I was... Prior to being into any kind of research, I was actually a pizza delivery guy. Wow. So for like maybe two, three years prior to that. Wow. So from pizza delivery to CRA. Yeah, basically. And what steps in between though? How do you go from that to coordinator? Like let's, let's start there. Sure. Was that your first experience in research at the site? Yeah, it was my first experience. I was a, I mean, they pretty much just threw us in as a as a, as a coordinator but my my friend was just like offering and they're offering to train coordinators they're building like a site and they have they wanted more people there and so i was basically shadowing coordinators some doctors some like physicians and i was able to speak with them the and connect with the pis their sub eyes and i mean i eventually got my like ccrp and was able to to learn and understand. understand. You have a bachelor's as well? I have a bachelor's okay, as well. Okay, so that's for a lot of you guys watching. Oh, yes. Like, the CRO world, sponsor world, they do want bachelor's degrees. Yes. Right? They don't, they don't, they typically don't hire oh, non-bachelor yeah. oh, yes. degrees. At the site level, they do. Okay, but um, for those looking at the clickbait title, it's not just pizza delivery. Too. <laughs> it's a step, a series of steps. Bachelor's. ACRP, uh, CCRC. Yeah. Uh, okay. And how long have you been a CRA? Uh, only like like maybe a year and a half or so. Uh, okay. Yeah. And it's how many studies recent. are you on like right now? Right now, probably 
four ish. Four studies. I, and I'm in a transition phase, so that's why I have maybe have a little more than like maybe see. one or two more than average. And you're yeah. traveling like what would you say? How often? Um, ideally, they want us traveling like two days a, a week. Okay. So like eight days per month. So right now, are you mostly regional? Yeah, mostly regional. Uh, they try to keep us on. Since I'm on the West Coast, I'll be on like maybe Utah, Colorado, Texas. Um, I only I have like a few sites like on the East Coast, but I rarely have to visit them. So That's it's like a once every six months, maybe a year that I have to visit those sites. So it's like close by California, yeah, Arizona. Exactly. Okay. And um, you like CRA better than CRC so far? So far. It's the, one of the challenging things is being away from my, my family. I have a uh, wife and baby. So oh, okay. Okay. Like almost a year old for my baby. So Congrats. Yeah, thanks. Uh, it's hard being away from them, but... Um, a lot of opportunities. A lot of opportunities in this, in this space. So, yeah, I, I'm looking for growth. And as far as therapeutic indications, because the site you worked at, I'm familiar with it. There was psychiatry. Oh, yes. And now you're doing general medicine. What other protocol? Like, what indications are you working on? I'm working on a, a rare disease, Wilson's disease. Wow. Um, another one, I guess it was pain relief analgesia for abdominoplasty. Okay. Um, but, yeah, I have a lot of different experience I've, with, like, Alzheimer's, pediatrics. So You're becoming a generalist as we speak. <laughs> okay. Yes. Well, thank you so much, Chris. I appreciate it. Any advice for people out there? Maybe they want to be CRCs or maybe they want to be CRAs. What advice do you have for them? Um, be constantly learning, I guess. Uh, learning and wanting to grow. Really, as a, as a coordinator, you have a lot of, uh, you could put your hands in a lot of different pots and so you can gain a lot of experience that way. Uh, learning from the people around you. And just, I mean, there's certifications, there series, CROs are looking for that. And uh, competence, so just really knowing the protocol in depth, knowing your role specifically, and knowing how it plays in the whole, the bigger picture of everything, of the clinical research world. I like that. Are you on LinkedIn? I am on LinkedIn. Okay, so people can, I'll put your LinkedIn underneath. Sure. People want to connect with Chris, go do it. It's his first visit here. Uh, but it's been pleasant so far, and we're just getting started. I think the study, I'm starting to get excited about it. We got through the hard part. Right. Now it's time to just start automating things. Like Exactly. Get the process going, figure out what we're doing wrong, what we're doing right, and just improve from there. So thank you for coming out, Chris. Have a safe uh, trip back Thanks, I to Anaheim, it. man. I would still drive, but <laughs> go follow him. Bye-bye, guys.